Okay. Taking a picture of your screen so that you can put it online. Everybody has, if you have Windows, uh, everybody has a program called Paint. Is in Windows. This is uh, Windows XP. Um, I have it here because I use it, obviously. But you can get it under your in your accessories. Generally, it comes preloaded here in its standard uh, location on Windows XP um, software. I'm just going to go ahead and reduce this for now. All you have to do is hold down the shift key, press the print screen key on your keyboard. And uh, it should say P-R-I-N-T or P-N-T, P-R-T. And then it may spell out screen or have SCR or SCRN. Then open your paint or bring it back up. Click on edit. Click paste. And it pastes whatever was on your entire screen, your desktop. When you do that print screen, it copies it into memory so that you can uh, do this. Now I will save as, click on file, save as, and save it where you're going to know. Save it as a JPEG. It's pretty uh, common type file. And then give it a name uh, so that you'll know what it is. Uh, this is a uh, okay, TI instructional demo pick, basically. Okay, that is now saved. Close that. There's another program. Uh, wait a minute. Back up. Let me go to my docs, my pictures, and here. Of course, you'll know where it's at. Um, now I'm going to right click and I'm going to open with. I like to use Microsoft Office Picture Manager myself. Um, you may have another picture uh, or graphic editing program. Just making it a little larger so you can see what I'm doing here. I'm going to now crop this picture. In other words, take off the uh, excess edit crop. Grab this, bring that up to here. Grab the left side or right side, either or, it really doesn't matter. So, fine tune that just a little. There we go. And then I'll tell it. Okay, that is getting rid of all of the excess stuff from around the picture. And I will save, close. It is now saved. 
and it will always come up as that. Now, in order to upload this, you need a site. I use Photobucket, Kodak Gallery, and several others. They're free. You can host your pictures. Photobucket's kind of nice. Okay, I already have an account here. It's all set up for me. Go to my albums. And what was my last album here that I'm in? Okay, let's put a poker album or open my poker album and throw a picture in here. Click on Upload, and in my case, it went right to the folder because that's where I stick pictures that I'm going to upload. Um, yours probably won't. It'll probably come up to whatever uh, generic file that it would normally come on to by default when you first start. Um, probably pictures or maybe files or somewhere in my documents. Um, but just know where you have uh, saved your picture, which is generally going to be in my pictures. And then I'm just single clicking. My system is set up for single clicks and it uploads the picture. It says it's uploading. There the picture is. All right, TI instructional. And that's it. Now I'll go to the album. And there's my newest upload right there. The picture is now online. I can take it. And you can use a number of uh, ways to, to copy your photo onto uh, a post. Here, my favorite is the uh, direct link. I just copy that. All right. And you go to the forum. Where was that post at? There we go. Uh, post reply. Put your cursor in here. You can right click or right click, <laughs> right click, and click paste, or you can uh, just hold down your control key and then tap V. We'll do the same thing. Control Z will remove it. Uh, control C would actually copy it, uh, anything that's highlighted. Okay, now I will highlight that entire row and then click on image to inlay the image into the post okay now we'll do a little preview and this is the photo now posted okay make a little note here And just click on submit. There we go. And your picture will then be posted. Okay. You see how that works? It's as simple as that. Now I'm going to go ahead and edit this video and post it. Get it in here for you on how to do it.